is actually going to be a little bit more difficult than most of the tricks that I've been showing you. So anyways, just giving you a fair warning, uh, this is what it's going to look like. So let's say you could go through and you can have the spectator just call out any card they want to face up. So in this case, maybe the Queen of Spades, for example. Uh, you could have them sign the card if you want, okay, just to make sure that this is the only Queen of Spades in the deck. Uh, but basically what you want to do is emphasize that they could have stopped you at any card. So they could have stopped you maybe the Nine of Clubs, maybe the Queen of Clubs. Basically any card in the deck they could have stopped you at. Uh, so look what happens. When I snap my fingers, your card doesn't actually jump to the top of the deck. and It's not on the bottom, but look, if I give you this card here and you put it inside of your hand, close it and open it back up, you can see your card has now instantly transported into your hand. So uh, this is a trick guys, and if you want to know how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright guys, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So uh, basically the main thing that I'm doing here is just culling a card from the middle of the deck. So basically that's when you take a card uh, from the middle and you can move it to the top of the deck uh, in a second. So that was kind of sloppy, I wasn't really trying there. But basically that is kind of the exposed view of what's going on. So I'm going to go into more detail. So what you're doing is you're having the spectator go through and they can pick any card that they want. Let's say the Ace of Diamonds here. Now basically what you're doing is you're showing them the card and if you want, I said, uh, like I said before, you can have them sign the card just to make it look like there's no actual duplicate card. So this would help out in the situation. Um, but at this point, what you'd want to do is take the card back, put it and have the deck spread open. Um, this way what you want to do is you want to emphasize to the spectators that they could have picked um, any card in the deck and at that point what you're doing is you're saying look you could have picked the Queen of Hearts and what I just did there is when I said Queen of Hearts I just covered up their card and left it flush with this Queen of Hearts so your card is perfectly behind that Queen and what you're doing is you're moving it behind the Queen like this and saying look you could have picked the Queen of Hearts and as you can see what I'm doing here from the back is I'm pulling your card with my middle in my ring you're pulling it out just so it can unclip from these back cards just like this so it's unclipped and what you're doing is saying look you'd have, you could have picked any one of these cards and you're just fanning it into your left hand just like this and when you close the deck up and I'll leave this on top so you can see you're closing the deck up leaving that ace on top of the deck like this. So once more time guys, you guys can, a lot of you guys can exit the video now, but for those of you who want to see it again, basically you're taking a card, in this case the Ace of Spades, and you're saying, look, you wanted to pick the Ace, you can go ahead and sign it. Um, you could have picked any card in this case, so let's say you wanted to pick, you could have picked the Five of Diamonds if you wanted to. You emphasize the Five of Diamonds, you push the Ace flush with the Five covering it up, and from the back, you're pulling this card out with your middle and your ring, you're pushing it on top of the deck. So when you first start out, don't spread the cards. Just go ahead and close the deck back up, leaving their card on top of the deck. So the end, what I did was, it was very simple. Um, their card is on top, and basically, I just did a double lift, and I'll leave the link on the screen. Uh, but really, guys, you should already know how to do the double lift at this point if you're trying to attempt this card trick. So basically, you do the double lift, concealing their card, and whatever you want to do, you can give it to them, flip it over, and this is the trick. So I hope you guys like it, and as always... So today, I'm going to be showing you something a little bit older, um, but I don't think a lot of you guys are already going to be knowing about this, so um, this should benefit you. And another thing I want to address here is that... I do, or I do want to start uploading more advanced intermediate card tricks, hopefully by summer. Um, I see a lot of you guys in the comments saying you guys want more of that, but the whole thing is that a lot of people that are going on YouTube, um, they're searching and they're looking for more beginner card tricks, so I need to be able to, you know, kind of cater to both audiences, so I'll try to do that. I'm trying to upload more advanced uh, card tricks and all that kind of stuff, but like I said, if you're ever wondering why I post so many beginner stuff, it's because just so many beginner people um, are looking on YouTube. So anyways, that's that, and then here is the trick. All right, so this is like a really old uh, Penn and Teller routine, and basically what Penn would do to start it off he would have a spectator come up from the stage or from the audience and Penn could shuffle up the deck and then he would tell the spectator to pick a number between like 5 and 10. So let's say the spectator chose 5. 
uh, or eight. So let's say they chose eight and Penn would start off by showing them what to do. So Penn would be like, all right, you know what? Um, all I want you to do is you said number eight, you just deal out eight cards. So in this case, we have three, four, five, six, seven, and then that eighth card would be yours. Okay, so at this point, he just explained to the spectator what to do. Penn says, you know what? I'll give the deck back to you. And he turns his back away and the spectator deals out his chosen number eight. So the spectator would deal out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the spectator would look at their card. In this case, it's the ace of clubs. So the spectator chose whatever number they wanted to between five and 10, they chose eight. And the spectator would put the card back in the middle of the deck. They could be shuffled up. Um, but the whole point is that I've actually predicted the card you chose in the first place. So this is kind of how the trick works. Um, Penn would kind of just have the spectator choose a random number and then whatever number they chose, it would ultimately lead up to his prediction. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do this right now. Don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so here's how it's gonna work. Um, really what this is, is just um, a card force and you can kind of put this into your own routine or just kind of do something like a little, like a little prediction. But uh, the whole thing is, is you have the card you need predicted, you have this written down or you have this ready in a different routine. But let's say, we want to force the ace of clubs because we have this uh, in a prediction. So you write this down, put this in your pocket, and you have the forced card on top of the deck. Um, and you can shuffle up the deck, just making sure that you leave it there on top. Whatever you have to do, just make sure this card stays on top. And now from here, what you do is you tell the spectator to pick a card between maybe like 5 and 10 or 5 and 15. What Penn does in his performance is he says, uh, pick a number between 5 and 10. And essentially the spectator could pick a number greater than that, but the whole thing is that you don't want to be sitting here dealing out all these cards. So just pick a reasonable number, 5 through 10, the spectator picks whatever they want, and they say, let's say they said 8 again, right? So what you do is you're dealing out 8 cards, the force cards on the bottom. So you count this, and what you're doing is just showing them what to do later on. So you say, look, so you know what, you picked 8, all, all I want you to do is deal out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the eighth card is gonna be yours. And you don't really have to show them the face of this eighth card, because this one doesn't matter. You're just using it as like a prop. So you say, okay, so then this eighth card is gonna be yours. So go ahead, you do that yourself, count out the eight cards, and you stack up the deck, you give it to the spectator. And before you do that, if you want, you could give it a quick cut like this, and then hand it to the spectator without really saying much, just so they think maybe the deck got mixed up a little bit. But really what you just did by counting out those eight cards yourself is putting their card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards below. So that's what you did. You just set it up yourself when you show the spectators. You give the deck to them. Like I said, you could give the deck a false cut. And like I said, if you did that, don't make a big deal about it. Just as you have the deck, you say, okay, now you can do this one yourself. And you hand it to them. They think the deck's already more mixed up. You turn your back. And you could have them count it out out loud, so this way you know how many cards they're getting to. So they say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when they get to that eighth card, they're looking at it. You tell them not to show you. You can tell them to put it back in the deck and shuffle it up, whatever they want, because you already have the prediction set up. So uh, this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. Um, you know, you can put this into your own routine or kind of add this into other stuff you already know. So I hope this video. Uh, worked out for you guys and as always guys yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you one of my all-time favorite card tricks um, you can do this to anyone and trust me it's going to impress them I'm gonna show you guys uh, right now what it looks like so let's say you could start it off and you could have the spectator pick any card they want from the middle so if we keep it simple maybe just like the ace of clubs or something and this could really be any card okay in the deck and the good part is is they can do this face up okay so like I said you picked any card in the deck so in this case like I said you picked the ace of clubs when I snap my fingers and show you guys that out of the entire blue deck you happen to choose the only red card so this is a trick guys and if you want to learn how to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so the good part is is that all you need is one red card and some double stick tape. Now, if you guys don't already have this, and, and if you guys see videos where people use this and you immediately click away because 
uh, you know they're using a gimmick or something but the whole thing is that this is going to be um, used in a lot of better tricks so a lot of like these really cool tricks that you might see they're going to involve some gimmicks so I would recommend just making an investment to get some double stick tape and so all you have to do is get a red card and now I recommend getting one with the face on it so in this case I have a queen only because when you put that double stick tape I'll try to put it in the light maybe so you guys can see it like this you can see that there's just a little piece a little rectangle of double stick tape right in the middle here and the thing is is with the face cards is that when you put the double stick tape on top the colors of the face kind of like dissolve that all the differences that the double stick tape has so if you put it on a card like the two they're gonna see that double stick tape on the white card so if you guys see what I'm saying so the next thing you want to do is you get two decks or you need just one deck and then with the one red card what you do with the red card with the double stick tape is you put that on the bottom of the other color deck and you, as you can see I have a duplicate here it's just the blue the blue backed queen and then the red queen goes on top with the double stick tape and from here um, I wouldn't recommend spreading open the deck so the spectators can see that it's really blue only because if you're spreading through the cards and they notice that there isn't a red card here at the end of the trick when they pick a card from the middle and they notice that like when you were spreading through the card at the beginning they didn't see a red card it might seem a little bit fishy so I don't really recommend doing that you can come out showing the blue back of the deck flip it forward face up and now from here all you have to do is make sure that when you spread the deck open face up you're concealing that extra queen so it's really simple all you have to do is just start the spread pinching a group of cards at the top covering up that queen having the spectator pick any card they want from the middle and that's the best part about this trick is they can pick any card they want and it doesn't make it suspicious when you take their card and put it back on top of the deck so really everything here is clean they can go through they pick any card they want and you bring that card to the top and you just kind of rest it on top of the deck you make sure everything is squared up and you say look out of any card in the deck and when you're doing that you're just applying some pressure making sure this card is sticking to the double stick tape and then when you push over the card there's still gonna be that queen of spades so it doesn't look fishy at all you have the double back card now on the ground or something and you can just snap your fingers show them that the entire deck is blue except for and you can make a really cool snapping noise uh, with the card and that just makes it look like it's just a single card it's not a double back card so they shouldn't have any suspicions you show them front and back show them it's one card and then that's basically the trick guys hope you guys like it and as always thank